Haley out and joined by USF head coach Jose Fernandez. Coach, congratulations on this win on the first day of the tournament, a day that your team isn't too familiar with usually playing, but your team was able to come up with a win in this crucial postseason situation. What did you learn about your team today? Learned a lot because uh, we brought a lot of kids here that have never been here before. Um, and I've never been here before on the first day and then also a noon game. So there were a lot of moving pieces, but I liked uh, right after the Connecticut game, we didn't do anything on that Tuesday and we had a great practice on Wednesday and got up here, had another good practice yesterday. I thought it was a good day off for us right after that game. And um, I liked how we finished. Pretty even matchup with Tulane throughout. What was the biggest difference for your team in the second half? Well, we've had a lot of games like this all year. Um, and, you know, you look at the beginning of our conference, all those one, two-point losses we have. We, You know, our, our guys didn't understand valuing possessions and closing out games. And um, now they're starting to figure it out. So uh, it's great to continue to play. And uh, looking forward to coming back here at noon tomorrow. Tamara Henshaw, 15 points, 15 boards. How did her performance impact the energy in this game? Well, it's huge just because she's so active. She rebounds out of her area and plays with a lot of energy and passion. Um, but, you know, Anna hit, a, Anna hit some big shots there down the stretch, and Penzon did a great job managing the basketball game. Thanks, Coach. Good luck tomorrow. You got it. I'm now joined by USF forward Tamara Henshaw. Tamara, in the second half, your game switched into another gear, 13 points, 10 rebounds. Why were you able to take your game to another level in the second half? Um, something for me that I always think about when we come to conference is this could be our last game for the whole season. So I know it, in, in the first half, it was kind of just like getting into the groove of everything. I mean, this is a huge place. And, you know, credit to Tulane, they were coming out strong. They were coming out very physical. So I think it was more so I needed to get out of my own head and kind of just let the game come to me. And that's kind of what happened at the second half. A lot of new faces on the floor, as you mentioned, but you're someone who brings experience playing in the conference tournament. How are you using that experience to help lead your teammates in a win or go home situation? I don't think that I'm doing it per se. They want to come to me and definitely want to know, like, you know, T, like, how would, how are we supposed to come back and how do we do things? So they definitely come to me and they, they look at that experience. But I also have full confidence in my team. Even though we have young faces, I, they're amazing players. So I already know like they're going to come out there with a whole heart. Against Tulane today, it was a pretty even matchup until the end. At what point in the game, in your opinion, did the momentum swing towards you guys? Uh, I mean, um, I think some like when Enna knocked down the three, I think that's when it kind of shifted because we know when Enna's on that roll, the Enna's on that roll. So and it kind of just gives us all that kind of like boost that like sh she's on her game. Like we, we got this. So um, again, credit to Tulane. They came out firing and they came out with a whole bunch of heart and passion. And, you know, um, it really hit us first. So um, just to know that Enna was back into that groove, it got everybody else out there back into it. Thanks, Tamara. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.